Hey guys, welcome to yet another Scratch lesson. I am sure you are all excited because everyone's been enjoying working in Scratch so much. Uh, and I think you're all getting pretty good at it. So uh, yeah, let's get started with yet another Scratch project. <clears throat> okay guys, so what do you have to do? Okay, you go on Google, type in Scratch. Click on Scratch. I'm automatically logged in. You should be too. If not, please make sure you save your login details. All right, guys, click on Ideas and then choose a tutorial. All right, while it's loading. Uh, okay, so last time, guys, we did create animations that talk. And I actually decided to do um, make a chase game this time. Okay, guys, uh, why is that? Because we basically we have explored a lot how to change backgrounds, how to make um, a characters talk, make sounds, change, um, change their costume and just many different features. So this time um, I, I thought about doing something more exciting, which is making a chase game. Okay, so guys, you need to click on that. Um, short video, as usual, up to you if you watch it or not, but it's very short and cute, so um, you can watch it if you want. All right, guys, so what do they want from us? Uh, let's take a look. I'm going to put my camera somewhere in there, or like here in the top corner. Okay, very good. So, add a backdrop. Okay, cool. What backdrop do they want us to choose? Ocean. Okay, so go into backdrops. We can type in ocean. Underwater. Okay. Uh, next one would be add a sprite. So what sprite are we adding? An octopus. Okay, add a sprite. <clears throat> octopus. Okay, perfect. I guess we are going to remove the cat. So you you always have this panel on the bottom. Just click on it and there's a little bin icon. So click on that and it will disappear. So we just have this. Okay, next step. Move right and left with arrow keys. Okay, perfect. So when that's events, when... So start with right arrow. When right arrow key pressed, change X by 10. All right. And then when left arrow key pressed, uh, change X by minus 10. Uh, change X by minus 10. I'm just going to write in minus 10. Okay, perfect. So let's try. Right key, left key, it's working. All right, perfect. Uh, up and down. So we are going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to leave these two here on the left. When, So the same functions, just this time we are going to have when up arrow key pressed change y don't forget x is horizontal y is vertical so motion so y change y by 10 and then when down arrow key pressed uh, change y by minus 10 minus 10 Okay, let's see if it works. Up, down, left, right. Perfect. All right, add another sprite, which is going to be a star. Okay, add another sprite, and I'm going to actually look it up. Star. Okay. Star. And then move randomly. That one is going to move randomly. So when when a green flag is clicked, and it will be moving forever, not just when clicked. So forever glide glide 
one second to random position. Okay, so let's click it. All right, and it's going to be, it, it will keep going into random positions. Okay, perfect. Now, when, okay, so in, in Octopus Sprite, when touching, play sound. Okay, let's see. So that is Octopus Sprite, right? Okay, so that's the octopus. Make sure you are working the octopus, guys. Click on it, okay? So now, when... When a uh, green arrow, uh, sorry, green flag clicked forever, uh, if, okay, if touching star, touching, 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 uh, touching star, that must be maybe sensing, touching. star then play sound play sound wand okay i i'm not sure why i always have different no i'm not gonna record sound splash ocean wave I don't know why I don't have the option of a wand, but never mind. Um, I'm going to go for splash sound, okay? So let's see how that works. Okay. You see, every time it touches the star... The splash sound. <laughs> if you have the one sound, brilliant. All right, guys. Now it's going to keep playing. Okay, I will have to stop the star because it's disturbing us. All right. Create score variable. All right, guys. So now you will be creating a score. Okay, how do you do that? So go into just a second. Make a variable. How to do that? Right, so you need to go into operators and then make, scroll down guys, make variable. All right, and then what do they want us to score? Okay, all right, so score for all sprites. Okay. All right, we created a score variable. All right, and then, so, so that block that you already built, uh, touching a star, we will be obviously like, it will create change score by change, uh -huh, change score by one. All right, perfect. So as you can see, it's already showing here in the corner. And that's it, done. Okay, so let's try it out. Let's start, okay? So guys, um, you will have to record a video of your game. Um, if you want to have different sprites, okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, if you want to keep it ocean, octopus, and star, that's also fine. If you want two different ones, that's fine. But they have to be uh, programmed exactly the same way. Okay, guys? So let's try it. Okay. Can you see my score is changing? Score two. Score three. Score four. All right. And that's how it works. Okay. Uh, just record a very short video of how your... Uh, how your game looks and how you're gaining score. All right. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys uh, will be great uh, coders and uh, game makers for today. All right. Looking forward to seeing your work. Until next time.